The Grapcars, The Sunny and Finn. This week, we discuss the latest goings on in WWE and give our predictions, or shall I say random guesses, for New Japan's Wrestle Kingdom 12. What's happening, everybody? Happy New Year, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Grapcast. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! How you doing, Finn? I'm okay. A bit sick at the minute. A bit, bit, bit of a sore throat. Other than that, I'm doing okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> How are you? You started off the new year ill. Yes. As I do most okay. years. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'm doing okay. Oh, good. I'm good. Excellent. I feel like we need to uh, issue some apologies. Uh, yes, yeah, been, been a bit absent as of late. <laughs> we have. Uh, life stuff has gotten in the way, but yes. uh, it's our new year's resolution to not let life stuff get in the way <laughs> and bring you the podcasts that you deserve. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Be that so, the Grabcast um, or the Dreamcast. Brand new Dreamcast. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So much exciting stuff going on. It's going to be a good year for us, I think. I think so, definitely. And we're going to start the year off correct by announcing mm. the winner of uh. the the Grabcast bets for 2017. So, yes. if, if you don't know what we do, basically we give our predictions for the WWE pay-per-views. There's 48 a year now, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I think. Pretty but, much. Um, Feels like it. Yeah, and so we we go through the matches, and whoever guesses the match correct gets a point. And yes. At the end of the pay per view, the person with the most points gets a full point to contribute towards their year's tally. Yes. It all came down to Clash of Champions that took place uh, early December, right? It, it did. Yes. Um, so basically, you were in the lead by one point. I needed, I needed to win this to to end it in the draw. I think that's some sort of like. Um, I don't know, some extra like bets. Tie to decide. Yeah, tiebreaker, yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm looking up. Um, so yes, so uh, it, was going, it was going well at first. I was in the lead for a little while. Thanks to, um, what was it? Oh, I think it was uh, Charlotte won the women's match. I think you said um, Natalia was going to win it. So I, did, I was doing well, but then uh, you brought it back and it ended in a tie, which means you both get a point. But since you were in the lead, uh, that make, means you win overall. Woohoo! Shit. <laughs> Second year in a row, bitch. <laughs> yes. Once again, Sunny wins bets for 2017. <laughs> Damn it. I'm like, I'm like the John Cena of uh, predictions. <laughs> Pretty much. Lol Sunny wins. Lol Sunny wins. I might get a t-shirt made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, hey, I think it was closer th uh, last year than it was the year before. Uh, yeah, I think it was closer this year, yeah. I think I was already lost by, by this point <laughs> last year. But... Well, to be honest, well, there's, a, there's only one result that matters. Yes, and it's the fact that you lost, and I won. Yes. So the uh, so the bet was so the uh, forfeit was whoever lost has to play through uh, Bubsy 3D on uh, the original PlayStation um, on stream on stream stream the whole game. Um, <laughs> in fact, I give you a choice: uh, do we stream Bubsy 3D, or, do I, or should I do the new one, the Bubsy Willy Strike Back, which is oh, the, actually do the new one. That's going to be terrible. That's what. That's yeah. I've heard it both pretty pretty garbage. Yeah, that's going to be all. In fact, I saw it on the PlayStation Tour the other day and I was like, wait, that's out? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't even realise. Yeah. But uh, I think play through that one, yeah. It's more relevant and it's... Uh, True. It's, it's not. It's definitely not relevant, actually. There's <laughs> no yeah. part of that game that's relevant at all. No, I can't believe but, it was Kickstarter. I can't believe a lot of people actually asked for that. People paid paid money to get that made. Uh, really? Yeah. Jesus. I know, right? It gives you shit about Bubsy. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah. So Finn's well, going to play through... The brand new Bubsy game on PlayStation 4 live Yay. on YouTube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. So go oh, check that out. <laughs> we'll uh, announce it all over social media when it's going to happen. So uh, Yes. And I'm going to play the Cuphead first. I'm going to expert, expert play through Cuphead and then I'll play shitty Bubsy. <laughs> Finn, this is not a gaming podcast. Hey? This is not a gaming podcast. It's, that's very true. Into what wrestling. However, <laughs> I do have some wrestling related gaming news. Oh, okay. So, Fire Pro Wrestling World. Yay has left early access on PC and is now a full game that you can purchase. Nice. Earlier on today, um, New Japan Pro Wrestling announced a partnership with Fire Pro Wrestling. Ooh. And it's coming to PlayStation 4 this summer. Ooh. Um, okay. And New, New Japan are going to be real, and there's going to be a New Japan uh, like story career mode in it. Oh, awesome. That sounds good. So, so that's cool, right? That's very cool. Yeah, so that's coming this summer to PlayStation 4, and I am so excited for it. Like, oh, yeah. I've been playing a lot of WWE 2K recently. Don't ask why. I'm I sorry. just have. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do, it needs a competitor, and Fire Pro is going to bring it to it and be way better. I've no doubt in my mind. Oh yeah, for sure. Go over that. So yeah, uh, with these new announcements, it's all good. And New Japan Pro Wrestling is coming to Fire Pro Wrestling in some awesome. sort of partnership. So great. Excellent. Excellent. So, we don't really have an awful lot to talk about this week. Uh, no, it's been a slow few weeks. Um, it has. Wrestling's been poor. WWE has been poor. Uh, NXT's yes. been good. Yeah, NXT's been always good. Um, we've had some great matches by the UK guys oh, yeah. who have really tore it up oh, yeah, in totally. 2017. So good. But otherwise, main main TV's been pretty garbage, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, let's go over some of the highlights of what's been happening since we last uh, podcasted. Um, so, Matt Hardy is woken. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing now. He laughs a lot. And shows I have to be honest, mate. I'm fast forwarding it a lot. Yeah, I don't get it, <laughs> personally. Um, yeah. I'm I knew sure. there was a reason I didn't like it. I, didn't, I knew there was a reason. Yeah. Like, when I thought it was crap in TNA. And, you know, you get the, you get the funny bits, like the, um, you know, the matches they have in their back garden or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I I kind of I didn't get it at first in TNA. Then I kind of sort to see the appeal. And, oh, okay, I kind of I get it. Now since coming to WWE, it's gone gone back to being like, oh, I kind of get it again. <laughs> it's lost me again. Isn't it weird that on a big scale production like WWE, that sort of thing just looks really terrible? Yeah, when it, when it first turned up and it's like it's working my hardy gear and he's doing his um his thing and it's, it's like okay, this is pretty cool. It's, really, it's kind of surreal to see on WWE. And then mm. like it's the same thing week after week after week, and it's like okay. I'm on board now. <laughs> Do something new. Have a match or something. It's cringeworthy. It is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I saw some footage from a house show, Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, yeah. And he saw he comes down to the ring with like just that piano music. Okay, at least they've kept that consistent with TNA. Yeah, but and that that's kind of cool. And Matt Hardy is a wrestler I've always rated. I like oh, him, yeah. but I don't know. I just can't. It's the it's how he's come back to WWE and gone from Matt Hardy version one slash extreme slash <laughs> broken Matt Hardy <laughs> to all of a yeah. sudden, yeah, you know, woken Matt Hardy. It just seems forced and they're doing it for the sake of doing it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope it turns into something cool. I hope it, you know, they figure it out and make something work. But right now, yeah, shrug. Yeah, I could, at least, I could really, at least, I, to be honest, I could, I, I could do without it. Yeah, at least Matt Hardy gets to do something while Jeff's on the on the shelf for a little while. True. It it does make me think, or it just make me wonder, rather, what happens to Jeff when he comes back. Mm. Now, I don't know if they go down the Brother Nero route. I think if Jeff, depending on how long Jeff's out, you know, this Matt Hardy thing could have really fallen on its ass <laughs> by, by then, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's totally possibility. Uh, so, I mean, for me... I'd rather see Jeff go on a singles run, perhaps, hmm. and take a shot at the World Championship, but on SmackDown, so we can mix it up with uh, AJ Styles and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And, That'd be cool. And people like that, while Matt Hardy is laughing and doing whatever he does on Raw. Yeah. That'd, yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, me too. Delightful. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> WWE! <laughs> Is it yeah. some, some things are okay? Like that's kind of funny, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're just miserable old bastards like maybe. Elsa who want. Uh, <laughs> maybe yeah. just want purist wrestling. This just, is just uh, just arm bars and <laughs> leg locks and you know things like that. Like, maybe yeah. we just got to that point now where we just want graps and not stupidity. Maybe, maybe. Oh uh, dear. <laughs> Next. Next. Right. Well, that's been happening. Uh, Dolph Ziggler shockingly won the US title with none of us mm-hmm. saw coming. No, nope. um, and and then walked. He left. He uh, put it down in the middle of the ring and walked out. Um, so there's now a tournament to decide who will be the next uh, champion. Um, which Bobby Roode's going to win, in my opinion. Seems pretty obvious. You know who I think's going to win it? Is that Dolph Ziggler? Oh uh, yeah, Dolph Ziggler's definitely going to come back. Is this is like absolutely going to be? He's going to come back with the title and it's going to like, oh my god, two champions. That's never happened before. Except when it happened before when Team Punk. Um, yeah, let's pretend that never <laughs> happened and do it again. Yay! <laughs> yeah, um, I think it. I think it's definitely gonna. I think Ziggler is definitely gonna come back. Um, well, that's what I read anyway. I read that they're gonna keep him off TV for a few weeks, but apparently he was gonna work house shows. Oh yeah, I like that as well. Weird. Yeah, I don't like that though. Keep it consistent. Just don't yeah. have him on either. Yeah, yeah. Strange. Because 
in the in this day and age <laughs> of mobile phones and fan footage that just surfaces all the time. Yeah. It's it's impossible to keep things a secret. <laughs> Pretty much. So just don't have him on either. Let him have a, a bit of time off that he probably needs. And then have him come back and be like, oh my God, oh, oh, he's actually coming back. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Make a big deal out of it and still no one will give a shit. So. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but well, yeah. To, to the, way, the way I see this, I, was this going is uh, Bobby Roode will win. Because uh, apparently, uh, back to uh, Triple H and guys like that are very high in Bobby Roode, as it should be, because it's very good. Absolutely. Uh, and then as he's celebrating with the championship, Dolph's music will hit, and then they'll have another feud to decide who is the actual uh, US champion. Which would be fine. See, that's, I guess. that's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Yeah. But just keep Dolph up house shows. That's yeah. all I ask. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. That is the city. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I'm cool with that because if, if Dolph is to leave WWE, uh, that feud with Bobby Roode is the way to go out. So oh, yeah. uh, you've, you've got this whole suspense thing as, oh, has he actually relinquished the US title and all this sort of stuff? Bobby Roode wins it, you know, then has the feud with Dolph, but then Roode eventually wins that feud, comes out as the US champion, then Dolph Ziggler calls it a day. Yeah. Then that's cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Um, what else has been happening? Um, Rusev is crazy over all of a sudden. Rusev Day. I know, right? <laughs> Every day's Rusev Day. Yeah. Happy Rusev Day. He's dragging Aiden English along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Sure. Is, I like Aiden English, but he's been doing all right. Well, I like him too. I, I liked him in the Vaude Villains, though. But I, yeah. I did like the Vaude Villains. So it's just Simon Garch is a dick. In, yeah, it turns out it's kind of a dick. Shame. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> but at least the hardest man in the dressing room taught him a lesson. <laughs> yeah, true. Good old Tinkara. <laughs> the ultimate oh, man. fighter, my <laughs> man. <laughs> That's the one. This is, uh. Yeah, so Rusev's crazy over. Like, this Rusev Day thing has gone ballistic. It really has, yeah. It's like everywhere, like, like, even like on Smackdown when Aiden English did the singing segment with uh, the 12 Days of Rusev oh yeah usually that sort of stuff rubbish no one cares yeah but people are just super into Rusev Day he's standing Rusev, Rusev's there smiling away <laughs> yeah wearing a Rusev Day shirt Aiden English is there singing about the 12 Days of Rusev and it's like why is this so over why am I enjoying it so much yeah how is this working <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how uh, this is the stupidest thing ever, but it's so good. Uh, wrestling's weird. Wrestling yeah. is so weird, but I love it so much. Yeah, same here. But uh, fuck, it's weird. <laughs> cool. Uh, what's happened? Um, Kevin Kevin beat AJ Styles on the uh, SmackDown with uh, mm. experience with Sami Zayn. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, this week, uh, Sami Zayn beat AJ Styles, and. Uh, after the match, uh, Danny Bryan announced a match with the Royal Rumble, which is going to be a handicap match, which is uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Not sure how that's, that's going to work, but... That's weird, isn't it? It's a bit weird. I'm going to be surprised if it ends up getting changed somehow um, before the Rumble. But mm. I, I, like, I like what they're doing with the booking with like Danny Bryan and Shane McMahon. It's unclear who's heel. Are they heel? Uh, or are they doing the right thing? Or what's going on there? I like it. Uh, I would love personally to see a Sammy Owens and Daniel Bryan mm. sort of faction. That'd be awesome, yeah. I'd be, I'd be happy with that. The thing with this handicap match is you can you can see fuckery happening, can't you? Oh yeah. So <laughs> Sammy Zayn goes to pin, but he's potentially got the championship won. But Kevin Owens wants to be champion, so he's yeah. surely gonna. Yeah, I don't know. Do they tease? dissension there and that's how AJ Styles picks up the win I think I think that's probably how it works probably it would be a shame though to break it up so soon oh. I agree yeah cause it, I like, Cause like, so some days in Kevin Owens are one of the highlights of Smackdown at the minute oh I think they're absolutely the highlight of Smackdown the yeah. thing is um, and I've had this going around my head for a couple of days now do, do they break it up in time for Wrestlemania and then have Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens at Wrestlemania maybe maybe we have seen it before, though, several times. Um, <laughs> but not at WrestleMania. Not at WrestleMania, that's true. Very true. I mean, so they could, they could do that, and they could absolutely tear the house down at WrestleMania, true. but it, it it means Sammy going straight back to being a face again, and it wasn't working, as much as I hate to say it, because I love yeah. Sammy. Same. Mm, I don't know. So, I think AJ Styles will win anyway. Uh, but mm, Yeah, probably. Okay, we got to have Agent Tars versus Sensei Nakamura, please. 
<laughs> please, 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 please. We want that. Please. Just, yeah. just please. Just please let's, let's, let us have that. Yeah. Just give us that one moment. If you give us nothing else this year, let us have that. Yeah. Have you heard who the uh, betting odds have for us winning uh, the Wimble at the minute? I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you don't make a guess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen it? You don't want to talk about it? No, I have seen it. Uh, I yeah. just... Uh, uh, <sighs> that cannot be real. That cannot be right. Why do WWE not. think in 2018 that having John Cena win the Royal Rumble <laughs> is a popular or smart choice? Uh, it's so dumb. Surely not. We had Randy Orton last year, which is bad enough. And then what, That's Roman Reigns so year for that. Batista year for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> The Royal Rumble sucks, doesn't it? We like it does. We get excited for every year, and every year it's like disappointment. Disappointment after disappointment. <laughs> it's like that year Batista won it. It was like we fucking knew this was going to happen, and it sucks. Yeah, uh, so bad. <laughs> it's like if you think about the. I've been so disappointed by I think maybe every Royal Rumble winner in the last ten years. Yeah, seriously. Because you could throw Del Rio in there. Nobody oh, yeah. wanted him to win. Yeah. Sheamus. Nobody wanted him. Oh, to God, win. Sheamus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Batista. Christ. Yep, middle set. Cena has won it in the last ten years. Yep, Reigns. Reign? Jesus, yeah, Reigns, Jesus Reigns. Yeah, Reigns. Yeah. Is, oh come on, <laughs> Reigns has yeah. definitely won it. <laughs> yeah, so I forgot. Moment you lapsed. Orton, yeah. Triple H. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that was the one for the WWE Championship, though, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Why do we watch this <laughs> show? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we should just watch, we should turn to Dave Martin and just watch New Japan instead we should do shouldn't we yeah we should just we should get our we should fight through Google Translate <laughs> to <laughs> log on to New Japan World and be able to watch it in English every week yeah That'd yeah great. it would uh, yeah the, the Royal Rumble is so weird but they can't have Cena win it they just can't surely not please no come on now come oh, on no. come on Vince please <laughs> yeah come on. Just, 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 Vince doesn't always, know better one. though does he he doesn't. <laughs> he really doesn't. You know what the fans want to see? No, what's that? What's that? They want to see John Cena with the Royal Rumble. No, 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 they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Okay, fine. Just fucking do whatever you want. It's going to be a 27-time world champion. Double the uh, bloody uh, Ric Flair's record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This fake record isn't real. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah, Ric Flair's probably won about 800 world championships across the world. Yeah, seriously. Like, this, this this WWE start of 16-time world champions is complete bullshit. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, if we've just shattered that illusion for you, but do some research. Mm-hmm. Um, like, uh, but going back to uh, Sammy, Kevin, AJ, Shane, Daniel Bryan. Uh-huh. Do you think Daniel Bryan will wrestle in 2018? Um. Yes, one way, one way or another, he will wrestle. Will wrestle, whether it will be for WWE or someone else, <laughs> who remains to be seen. But I think he will wrestle definitely. I read something today. I think he was on Sam Roberts' podcast. He was on a podcast at least, hmm. and he basically said, "If I don't wrestle by WrestleMania, I won't wrestle in WWE at all." Oh, interesting. When does his contract run out? Is it this year or is it next year? Um, uh, I think it's this year. I think. Yeah, I I just I couldn't remember. I knew it was either this year or next year. Yeah, but you got to believe that if his contract runs out with WWE, he will leave WWE and go wrestle for like Ring of Honor or New mm. Japan or somewhere like that. Definitely, because he obviously wants to wrestle. Even like Breeze said it on like interviews that Danny Bryan is going to wrestle <laughs> one way or another. Yeah, he will. There's no two ways about it. Yeah. He will wrestle. He will wrestle again, He'll find whether way. it's in WWE or not. Yeah. I mean, I can understand WWE's, and and I can understand and respect it. WWE sort of protection oh, yeah. of guys, especially considering the amount of people that they have suing them at the minute for <laughs> uh, concussions throughout the years. Yes, which when you look at the list, it's a bunch of fucking mid carders who are doing <laughs> literally nothing now. Pretty much, yeah. So uh, it's like, oh, I know. let's jump on the sue WWE bandwagon because I had a concussion once <laughs> uh, and I think it was I'm pretty sure it was because I was wrestling for WWE nothing yeah. else and no one told me concussions were bad how was I supposed to know yeah <laughs> no, hey, no one told I, me he'd smash my head and just steal shares 20 times a night which is going to be bad for me how was I supposed to know <laughs> you know what the biggest joke is of all, of all? Sabu was on that list <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ a homicidal suicidal what's his face genocidal maniac That's he's like alright <laughs> Okay, so, yep, Sabu was in WWE. <laughs> I think he might have had a concussion before WWE. Just a bit, yeah. It's a little company yeah. called ECW you might have heard of. 
<laughs> I, I've never heard of them. It's only WWE I know. Oh, right, yeah. Is it little, ECW little don't exist. Yeah, that's true. Wrestling outside of WWE, you can't get concussions there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, on, only in WWE. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, I think I, I personally think Daniel Bryan will wrestle again. Yeah. To me, it looks like they're trying to tease it in WWE at the minute. Yeah, this little long chain of man versus Daniel Bryan um, would be the match if they're going to happen. Oh God! Yeah, you know what? You, you you're think, right as well. You are right. Yeah, you would think with like guys like AJ Styles, Nakamura, uh, Finn Balor, you'd have someone better than Shane McMahon to put Daniel Bryan up against. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, Shane McMahon gets all the best matches. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, you'd think they put him with a top worker because. You would think they at least want to keep him some sort of safe. You think so, wouldn't you? Have you seen Shane McMahon's punches? <laughs> WWE. Have you seen them? Yeah. They are so bad. They're bad and stiff and... Ugh. Yeah, Shane is Didn't not a good worker. Yeah, cool. He's a, he's a, he does cool flips and stuff. He and jumps, jumps off things. things. <laughs> yeah. But, I, I don't know. If Me personally, I'd put him in there with, with Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn. That'd be awesome. Yeah, for sure. Safe, good workers. Yes. If WWE are that petrified <laughs> about Daniel Bryan getting a concussion. Yeah, absolutely. That makes make sense. I think if WWE do allow this, then Daniel Bryan's contract will be extended and we will see him maybe active again. Hopefully. I doubt if they test it, the waters uh, with one match yeah, I and doubt it goes it, well. Yeah, I doubt, I doubt it would be full-time. Um, but yeah, I, I can see that happening. You well, don't think I mean, they, they'll let him go full-time again? Uh, I, I don't know. Can't see it personally. Maybe just even any- if he gets fully cleared by WWE doctors and they they give him that match that he clearly wants. Um, I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to see it, but it's just with everything that's happened, it's hard to see. I, I mean, yeah, I, I I agree, and I do see where you're coming from, yeah. but I don't know. I just think if he's given that, it's given the chance to do it. He needs to change his style. He cannot keep wrestling like a fucking maniac. <laughs> yeah, true. Diving headbutts, that's out the window. No headbutts, Straight yeah. away, gone. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, I don't know, he's been cleared medically by so many doctors outside of WWE. True. WWE have got to see something in that. See dollar signs. <laughs> yeah. Because, because if imagine if um, Daniel Bryan goes and leaves WWE, goes away, does Ring of Honor, does New Japan, and, you know, you've got you know, Daniel Bryan versus Cody Rhodes or Omega if he doesn't make his way to WWE. Mm. And all these big money matches that Daniel Bryan's having and he doesn't get injured once. Yeah, yeah. WWE yeah. have really fucked up. So they'll be <laughs> really themselves. cautious as to what they do. Because they're gonna have to, they're either gonna have to let him do it or let him go. Pretty much. It's tough. It's tough. It's a it's a hard one for sure. So everyone look forward to Shane McMahon versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, what else has been happening? Um, uh, what else happened? Oh, the announced the Women's Royal Rumble will have 30 entrants. Um, there, has, there was a doubt going online saying to maybe we'll have uh, 20 or 25, but no, it's going to be a full, full 30, which is surprising because are there 30 women on the, on the roster right now? No. No, <laughs> there, there, no there are not. Yeah. And if you think about it, uh, well, there's what, there are around 20, 25 at a push. Hmm. One of those is Alexa Bliss. The other is Charlotte. They're both the champions. So, yes. what are going to do? Fight each other? Uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard. They're going to bring in some NXT people. I think like Billy Kay and uh, Peyton Royce like that. Um, okay. Ember Moon. Um, maybe Lita? Bring, Lisa, maybe yeah, like, bring, yeah. A couple of the other acts like Lita and uh, Trish Stratus, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Interesting one. Yeah, I mean, the, the big rumour is Ronda Rousey. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. That was like but four I, I, or, something, I, four or something. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to go with that now. I mean, Shayna Baszler's on NXT now. True, yep. Um, but, I mean, okay, let, let's say that Oscar wins the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, she will. Yeah, she has to. But who beats her? Ronda Rousey, right? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, who's who else is? I mean, Ronda Rousey is a legitimate fighter and would probably knock Oscar's head off. <laughs> Maybe. So surely she seems like the only person that could. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
Or oh, is Ronda let's... Rousey come in and win the Royal Rumble? And she... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this pans out. Yeah, unless, unless not one where it's not going to be full-time, and in which case I'll have Asuka win it to make Asuka look even stronger than she will do this. Um, I don't know. It's hard. I mean, I read something just the other day. I can't remember what, uh, where it was from. Uh, that You know, they're sort of trying to dispel the rumours of Ronda Rousey coming to WWE uh, so soon uh, because maybe she's doing movies or something like that. Oh, yeah. I still see it happening. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen at WrestleMania season, isn't it? It has to. Oh, of course, yeah. We have to. It really has to, because otherwise, I mean, yeah, you could bring her in for SummerSlam, I guess. They try and make that out to be as big as WrestleMania. Maybe. It isn't. Not quite. <laughs> no. Um, SummerSlam's always disappointing as well, usually. True. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. Yeah. Um, you could have Ronda Rousey win the Royal Rumble. And then you could have Oscar maybe beat Alexa Bliss on the road to WrestleMania. Then at WrestleMania, you have Ronda Rousey versus Oscar. That could work. That could that work. Could work. Hmm. I'd be into that, to be honest. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Because um, there's going to be like a women's elimination chamber or something before Mania, in there. Oh, definitely. The first ever women's elimina- <laughs> elimination chamber. Yeah. The first you've got to keep, keep making that history until there is no more first ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, they've got to keep inventing matches so they can have women have their first ever. Yeah, the first ever women's uh, stare match. Yeah, <laughs> the first ever Buff ba- Buff Bagwell's mom on a pole match. <laughs> women <laughs> instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um. Oh god, I'm running out, I'm running out of things. Um. It's kind of about it, really. Um. Dean Ambrose is injured. Oh yeah, Dynamo's out for nine months. Ouch. Mm. Bad times. Samoa Joe's doing amazing work at pissing Renee Young off. Love that. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Basically. Good promo. Yeah. Um, speaking of new tag team championship champions on Raw, Seth Rollins and his best friend, um, bloody Jason Jordan. Hmm. Mm. Weird one. What do you think to this? I mean, I read that it was going to be Finn Balor that was supposed to be <laughs> tag team champion with Seth Rollins. Well, and then, awesome. all of a sudden... Jason Jordan's winning it. Uh, Steve texts me on the on the Tuesday, and he put a WWE having a fucking laugh with Jason Jordan. <laughs> Words to that effect. <laughs> yeah, um, Finn Balor's not much luck with uh, booking recently, has he? Um, no. <laughs> although this week they team up with Carlos Dancing, which is pretty cool. Hope that that's a one off. I hope not. I hope, it, I hope, it, I hope it stays like a faction. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, me uh, too. But it can't be called the Balor Club. No. No, I hate that. I think it's crap. Because it, it just means that it's, hi, it's uh, Finn Balor, leader of the group, and here are my friends, Carl and Luke. <laughs> True. They're, they're my club, the Balor Club. Yeah. True. Just call, call it the something club. else. Yeah. Don't, don't, you know, don't even call them the club. Just call them something else and just have them fucking kick ass. That'd be awesome. Turn Finn Balor heel. Mm. Have, just have them three just mowing through people. It'd be awesome. Yeah, but I love that. Yeah. Uh, but yes. Anyway. Seven, seven Jason Jordan um, weird one I I think I like what they're doing with Jason Jordan if it, if what they're doing is, is intentional which is making Jason Jordan look like a, a daddy's boy um, spoiled brat kind of character um, who I don't know gets everything added to him if that's what they're going for and slowly turning him heel um, then that's good if not and if what they're, what, they're to, what they're trying to do is make him a sympathetic baby face then they're failing miserably um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the the people are not behind Jason Jordan like yeah, at all. Absolutely, which they're not buying into it one bit. And so I think it's the point. I think I hope is what they're going for. Because <laughs> then there'll be Seth's just going to try to help Jason Jordan, and then and then Jason Jordan's going to turn on him and turn heel and want to have a match against Kurt Angle, his dad, or something. At WrestleMania, I don't know. It'd be the right way to go. Something's got to give with it <laughs> because. Uh, they've obviously brought him in, uh, and this storyline with Kurt Angle being his dad that nobody really likes or nobody really wanted, <laughs> uh, and now they're sort of doing a Roman Reigns to him and pushing him out there every week and making him a you know a focal point on Raw, and it's like oh, the the, pan, the fans just aren't buying it. They're like, they're fucking booing the guy. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. hard it's hard to, I'll see where they go with it. Hopefully, it turns out okay. Hopefully, they do this intentionally to make him get booed and slowly people that like him less and less. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I like <laughs> that idea that you you've just sort of proposed there with uh, 
Seth Rollins trying to help him up and all that sort of thing, and then him turning on, then Jason Jordan turning on Seth Rollins. Yeah, I think I think that, that would be the best way to go. Yeah, turning him heel would definitely be the best way to go because the babyface, clean cut, all American, <laughs> amateur wrestler Mark. does not fly with the crowd these days. Uh, no, it doesn't work. No, no. Not, live one can be Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This yeah, is... and it, even Kurt Angle had to change it up and be a badass. At, yeah. You know, at one point, you know, he's, the clean cut, all American thing. Not in 2018, my friends. Not mm. one bit. No. That's right, yeah. Velveteen Dream is now... Velveteen Dream and not anymore. Not um, Patrick Clark anymore. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Wait, who was Patrick Clark? Uh, yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. I like Velveteen Dream. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah. So good. Um, right. So, it's time for us to head down to Hot Topic... <laughs> Pick up our cease and desist T-shirts. Oh yeah. Um, where my where, get get your Bullet Club handbag. <laughs> f- subscribe to New Japan Pro Wrestling World. Mm. And why to do uh, translate? Watch Wrestling Castle Eight or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we're>, West. <we're, laughs> I can't think of better uh, than that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're messing around we know nothing about New Japan Pro Wrestling really but Wrestle Kingdom is a big deal every year and this year is no different because we have a massive earth shaking main event Mm. we have the cleaner Kenny Omega against Chris Jericho he has a name I guess but the Alpha versus the Omega yeah the Alpha versus the Omega the big money main event oh yes only to be seen in New Japan Pro Wrestling so Wrestle Kingdom is held on a Thursday. I don't know why. That's weird, right? Yeah, Already. weird day. Very strange. Yeah. Got in Japan. Well, I got work on Friday. I mean, I yeah, I'm not going to stay up with that. Jeez. <laughs> 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 but it's got some pretty cool matches, Wrestle Kingdom has. I mean, it does. I've watched it a couple of times. It's too quiet for me. Yeah, I always end up skipping, like, in between your parts and just, like, bits and pieces. But um, yeah, uh, the, the good matches they do have are usually very, 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 very good. Like oh, lot, abs- yeah. Yeah, the last year's was like, a lot of people were saying it was one of the best wrestling events like ever. Mm. So there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure on this one to do, be just as good, um, which I think it will be. I mean, it keeps raising the bar every year, Wrestle Kingdom does. Oh, yeah. And it's a very marky thing to watch. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, it's incredibly marky. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> um, but I'd probably watch it, to be honest, because I want to see Jericho versus Omega. Yeah, same. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's the thing with New Japan. It's like, yeah, you've got these really cool matches. So you had AJ versus Nakamura. You had, you know, you've got Jericho versus Omega and all that sort of thing. But mm. it's like, I just don't. There's something about it that just doesn't resonate with me. It's like the, the crowd are pretty quiet. Uh, the ring looks weird. <laughs> yeah, it got to be too used to WWE. The way how they do things. See, yeah, it's, it's, too, it's too different. <laughs> it is too different. We're just we're, we're, we're just WWE, and that's we it. We are. We WWE guys. We can't help it. Yeah, we, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, yeah. but <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, the entrance ramp is like fucking miles away. Yeah, they and, like, take ten years. Curls. I don't get it. <laughs> you have to like walk out and then walk down another ramp. It yeah. just takes forever or something. I don't know. I don't really know. This is all about Japan um, expertise coming to play. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've got a weird ramp with the curves. Uh. Like the bell sounds weird. It sounds like a like a fucking cow bell or something. Yeah, and it was ringing for like ten years. But there's a qualification or something. It's like ding 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 ding. ding. Oh, you get it. Jeez, come down. Yeah, and I don't know. There's no, there's no noise. Like, I like, there's no noise at WWE. Don't well, yeah, <laughs> for, for the most part. But <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's obviously intentionally silent in Japan because of the way that they watch wrestling and you know part of their culture and whatever. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's weird. It's like in, even in between matches, it like pans out to the ring, then the cow bell sounds, <laughs> and then someone else is coming down to like very typically Japanese video game BGM one. <laughs> Which I'm going to go with. It. Yeah. Ah, my favorite. Yeah. BGM one, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. BGM four is my favorite, but oh, yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but it, you know, I'm going to watch it this year because Omega versus Jericho has piqued my curiosity. Yeah. But it's so type. 
um, Finn, you you did bring some other matches to my attention. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you some incredibly uneducated <laughs> predictions. <laughs> Pretty much as uneducated as you can possibly get. Uh. <laughs> yeah, don't expect any sort of New Japan Pro Wrestling knowledge at all. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the first match I have on this card um, <laughs> was just by Bleach Report. Already. <laughs> is uh, for the IWGP Junior Tag Team Championship. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Rapongi 3K, who are the champions, versus the Young Bucks. One bullet okay. Ops. Wait, Rapongi 3K, who's in the, who's in that tag team? Um, you know the ones. No, because I, I, <laughs> no, I think I saw them on, the, on uh, Wrestle Kingdom last year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's obviously uh, Googling. Um. <laughs> is one of them Trent Beretta or someone like that? Uh, middle of Japanese wrestlers Sho and Yo. Then yeah. I have no idea. So yeah. <laughs> Trent Beretta is in the card somewhere, though. I assume in there. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, that's weird, isn't it? Trent Beretta is like a fucking nobody. He was on, on vel- Velocity and stuff like that in WWE. Yeah, but even then, back then, I remember seeing him and liking him and thinking... Yeah, like, me too. Oh, guy, I used yeah. to like Trent Beretta as well. But then he's like losing to Scotty Too Hotty on Velocity <laughs> or Heat or something. And you think, oh, maybe Trent Beretta that sucks. And then <laughs> <laughs> after that, you've got EC3, whatever he was called then. Jason Bateman. Oh, yeah. Like losing as well, or uh, losing to Fandango, Johnny Curtis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who are these guys? <laughs> this is who are these nobodies? Yeah, they don't never do anything. Yeah, they'll, they'll never do anything good. <laughs> Meanwhile, in TNA. <laughs> um, so yes. Oh my God, it's Jason Bateman. <laughs> no, wait, Jason Bateman? That's wrong. He's an actor. De- Derek Bateman. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, sure. World champion. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, yep, TNA anyway. world champion. Uh, yes. So Bungie Three K versus the Young Bucks uh, for the championship. <laughs> Who are the who are the current champions there? Uh, Rabongi, current champions. Show and you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Young Bucks to win. Cool. Uh, I will go for uh, Rapongi, just to be different. Just because know. the name's awesome. Oh uh, yeah, it's a cool name. Rapongi 3K. I like it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if it'll work. I'm I'm prepared. Right, okay. <laughs> this is our uh, best prediction show ever, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By by far. It's not even a contest. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, Kota Ibushi versus Cody Rhodes. This could be awesome. Now, you see, you see, this kind of match excites me greatly. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, imagine this in NXT. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> have you seen that weird video doing the rounds of uh, Ibushi and some other Japanese wrestler kissing each other? Um, no. Yeah, it, it was in the ring. It was, like, actually during wrestling. Oh, right, like, okay. So they, they were having, like, a standoff, and then one of them, like, kissed the other one on the lips, by the way. <laughs> and then Ibushi went in with a kiss as well. Right. And this, like, happened repeatedly. Weird. Okay. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, brilliantly, I saw this on Facebook, and it said, guys, this is what Chinese wrestling is like. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese wrestling. Jesus Christ. Uh <sighs> God, the internet sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. I don't, Kota Ibushi, last, when I saw him on Wrestle Kingdom last year, he was under a mask and he was like uh, playing a cartoon character. Oh, right. Okay. Because Japan. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, he was <laughs> he was portraying a live action version of a car, of a Saturday morning cartoon character. Right. Interesting. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> like White <laughs> Tiger or something. I've made that up, but it's something to that effect. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he was doing all of Kota Ibushi's moves and the commentary, which was like Steve Carino and Kevin Kelly. Oh yeah. Were like, could it be? No, I don't think it is. Obviously, know him full well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I don't know how big in Japan he is at the minute, or if he's doing anything. I don't know, but yeah, I know I- that Cody Rhodes is very popular. I'm going to go for Cody Rhodes. Cool. Um. Bougie's kind of a big deal. Um, my Cody Rhodes is no up and coming. I'll do Cody Rhodes as well, I think. Okay. Yeah, I like Rhodes. Which Bougie. Wrestle Kingdom is this, by the way? Is it 12? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to have a quick look at Wrestle Kingdom at 11's card here. Cool. Because, so that I can... Uh... It took me that long to scroll up to the top of the base and see what <laughs> which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> I like the... T- I always like the promotional... Art. It looks, looks so cheap. I know, that's, <laughs> I know that's horrible, but I, but I still like it. It's very Japanese. Yeah. Right, here we go. It was Tiger Mask W. Oh, it's like Mask, yeah, yeah. Versus Tiger the Dark. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Wait, hang on a sec. Rapongi Vice, that was Trent Beretta and Rocky Romero. Oh, okay. So, there are multiple Rapongis? Apparently so. They beat the Young Bucks last year. Ah. For the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking for Trent right now on this card now, so I'm somewhere. Um, probably a 27-man <laughs> open weight match, whatever it is. Um, sure. Oh, they had that last year. They had, well, they had a New Japan Rumble and Billy Gunn was in it. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cheeseburger was in it. Cheeseburger? Yeah. T- t- uh, cheeseburger che- just on the, on the ground. That's his name. <laughs> che- literally Cheeseburger. Like, just like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what have we got next? Um, we've got the uh, Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Gauntlet Championship match. Which sure. I think is, it's done for the like, three man tag team Championships, which is a thing in Japan, apparently. What does never open weight mean? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're bad at this. Um, <laughs> we're really bad at this. We, we Guys, should, we, we don't watch New Japan. Yeah, we should, we should do more research. If you hadn't <laughs> gathered that already. Yeah. Uh, so this <laughs> <laughs> is with uh, Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa and Bad Luck Fale, who are the champions, versus uh, Ryusuke Taguchi, Juice Robinson, who is in NXT under the name... Yep, I know who you uh, mean. Ah, she was his name. They're uh, like... He lost to Kevin Owens in Kevin Owens' first NXT match. Yeah, yeah, he was like the Eco Warrior guy, wasn't he? Yeah, that's it, yeah. He was, yeah, I remember. He used to carry the sign down to the ring, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I can't oh, remember his name. name for the life of me, but I know who you mean. Yeah. Damn it, I'll look up to it. Uh, yeah. yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> so then, uh, then we've got, ah, there he is, Trent Beressa, uh, Toro Yano, and Tomoroshi, Tomoroshi, damn it, Tomohiro Ishii. Some it. quality, quality pronunciation here. Thank you. <laughs> versus uh, Hanson, Raymond Rowe, and Michael Elgin. Versus Taiji Takash- Takashi Lizu- Izuka and Zack Sabre Jr., who's an English Englishman. Okay. Look at that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because he was in the Cruiserweight Classic. He was, yeah. CJ Parker was uh, uh, Juice yeah. Robinson in NXT. Thank you. That's probably nuts. I... Don't know who's going to win that match because I know Jack, who Zack Saber Junior is. I'm going to go for his team. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll go for Trent Beretta's team because you know who Trent Beretta is. Exactly. <laughs> and okay. each, I've heard of Tommy Hero Ishii. That's how now. No, I say his name. <laughs> even, though I, even though I missed it like three times in a row. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah. That, that them, them ones sure. that we just said. Yep. <laughs> then we've got the uh, IWGP Tag Team Championship. It's the heavyweight one, I guess, or non-junior one, which is the uh, Killer Elite Squad, which is Davy Boy, Smith Jr. and Lance Archer for the champions. Lance Archer? Wasn't he in WWE? I think he was, yeah. yeah I recognise the name. I think um, he was called Lance Archer. I remember him being on one of the games. Yeah, interesting. Uh, and they got up against uh, Evil and Sonata. Evil. Cool I don't really rate Davy Boy, Smith Jr. I have to be honest. I think he sucks. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of him in WWE either. No, I think it's boring, bland. Yeah. I saw him on that World of Sport. You remember when they had that on ITV? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that like that reboot of World of Sport. He was on that. Like they, they, He came down like he was some sort of big deal. And I was like, who gives a fuck? Who is... I don't know. This, this guy sucks. Yeah, anyway. it's a bit boring, though. Yeah, uh, so I'm not. I'm going to go for the other team because they have cooler names. Yeah, Evil and Sonata. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, was, uh, he was cool. Uh, I'll go with that as well, I think. Evil and Sonata. Hmm. And then we have a another never open weight match, uh, never open weight championship hair versus hair match, <laughs> as oh, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Versus, yeah. Uh, versus Minoru Suzuki, which is champion, versus Hiroki Goto. Shrug. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for Goto. Cool. I'll go for Suzuki. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That. We're awesome at this. We're yeah, we like are. we're fucking awesome at this. We're pretty much the, the best podcast in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so Lance Archer was uh, Lance Hoyt in WWE. Apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Um, <clears throat> then we've got another cool looking match. Uh, it's for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. It's fatal fair, fair four weight with uh, Marty Skull versus mm. Will Osprey versus uh, Hiromu Takahashi. Versus Kushida. Okay. Who are all that's a, of. 
That is a yeah, that is a good solid match. It is. That one I am looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for Kosh- um, Kushida. Kushida, nice. Uh, I'll go through uh, Marty's girl. He's got he's got okay. he's uh, doing good stuff at the minute. He's doing good stuff at the minute. He's uh, he's doing our country proud. He is. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop. Uh, but I do <laughs> like I do like Kushida. Yeah, he is cool as well. They're all cool. Um, then we've got the IWGP Intercontinental Championship match. Jesus. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hiroshi Tanahashi versus uh, Jay White. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to go for Hiroshi Tanahashi. Cool. Because, Just because I don't know who Jay White is. Uh, yeah, I'll go for Jay White because I don't know who Jay White is. <laughs> Does he mean he's going to win? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, then we've got the, uh, oh, well, the, obviously the most um, anticipated match of the night, which is the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship, no DQ, Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. Alpha versus Omega. Yes. Um, I'm going to go for Kenny Omega to win this. I don't see any way that Chris Jericho comes out of this winning. Uh, yeah, it seems likely. Um, obviously, the match is going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, Chris Jericho just there as a one-off. It'd be weird if he won it. Um, yeah, because he, he wins the championship. Then what? Then what happens? <laughs> yeah, he disappears forever. Yeah, uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I'm sure of it. I think it'd be great. Um, I hope it's not overhyped. I'm sure it's not. Nah. Um, I th- yeah, I think it's gonna be great. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It's just, it's it's one of those things. Kenny Omega is the biggest star on the Indies at the minute, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, the Indies slash New Japan, whatever. Yeah, yeah. my name. <laughs> Bullet Club is massive. Of course. And Omega's really carrying that torch at the minute. So, um, for Jericho to turn up and beat him just doesn't seem likely. Uh, even with our limited New Japan knowledge, we know wrestling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, know, and, we, know, we know good wrestlers when you see him. Yeah. And it just, does, it just seems that Jericho would be quite happy to go over there at this stage in his career and uh, put over Kenny Omega. Oh, uh, yeah. Makes most sense. Cool. Yeah. Uh, one more match after that for the heavyweight championship. IWGP However, wait. Let, in fact, let me stop you there. Let, let, okay. let, me, let me go back to this. Mm. Imagine if Jericho mm. won it, then turned up at WrestleMania with the fucking New Japan <laughs> IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I would mark out. Pretty me too. Hard. And then, and then <laughs> Kenny, it, it, I would love a rematch for that at WrestleMania. That'd be awesome. Imagine that. It'll never happen, but imagine it. <laughs> right, but it'd just be awesome. Do you think Kenny Omega will come to WWE? I think he will eventually. Whether it'll, whether it'll be this year or another year, I don't know, but uh, he will, for sure, at some point. Because isn't his contract up in January with um, New Japan? Possibly, maybe. Would be mm. cool if he turns up at the Rumble. I don't think he'll turn up at the Rumble. Probably not. I really don't, but I think it depends what how they want to do with this Chris Jericho thing, because, you know, they could... I mean, the, the whole wrestling world knows about this. WWE can't ignore it. They obviously know about it. Yeah. Um... You know, they, they if WWE was smart and brought Omega in, you could and but say Jericho did win, you could have this rematch. Yeah. But you could have this a second match anyway. You could have you know, Jericho win the second one. Like have Omega win this one. Then have Jericho win the second one. Then you can have a, a third match. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Hey, it would be it would be really awesome. <laughs> I just don't know if it would happen. Yes, hard one. I mean, you mean WWE needs to partner up with New Japan or something, and uh, who knows how that will go? That is not going to happen. That is <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, if uh, you could have Kenny Omega win this one, then you could have him lose his championship to someone else, and you could have the Bullet Club turn on him. Like that—that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Adam, the only Adam way Cole, to WWE, Adam, then yeah. uh, the Bullet Club turns on you. <laughs> pretty much. Um, <laughs> then. You know, you could have Jericho beat him in WWE. Then you could have Omega beat Jericho in WWE. Then you've got some sort of trilogy thing. I don't know. That'd be very cool. How many stars do you think Meltzer's going to give that match? Uh, 14. Okay, <laughs> good. Good prediction. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it'll, fa- be, it'll be about five or six, I think. As he does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, if, regardless of what Meltzer says, he's a fucking New Japan mark. <laughs> no two ways about it. He kind is. Of, yeah, pretty much. Like, he had a go at somebody on Twitter for using the word mark. It's like, <laughs> don't be a dickhead, Meltzer. Mark the is mark a word that everybody uses. <laughs> you are the biggest mark ever. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the crap. Oh, man. 
<clears throat> yes, yes, last card, last match on the card uh, is for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And it's uh, Kazuzika Okada versus Setsuya Naito. Um, I've, I've not really seen much of his work, but I've heard nothing but good things about Okada. Mm-hmm. King yeah, wears year, guess, his uh, uh, gear in Tekken 7. He does, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He also has the New Japan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, doesn't he, in that? Uh, I think he does, yeah. I would love to see King versus Okada. <laughs> yeah, me too. Who do you think would win? Uh, probably King. Yeah, King. <laughs> <laughs> King's got a... <laughs> King's got a very varied moveset. He does, he does. It's true, true. So he, you know, he goes from the Tornado DDT <laughs> to like a, a muscle buster and he's got a tombstone as well. So cool. You know, there aren't many pro wrestlers on the planet that have uh, the, the the kind of moveset that King does. Yeah. He's he very versatile. He does a line for face. So that's, that's interesting. That's also very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Okada obviously had that uh, six-star quote-unquote match uh, last year with Kenny, Kenny Omega. Mm-hmm. Um, so... And nice has been going coming up and up the card. Um, so it's going to be another good match, I think, for sure. I think so as well. I don't know much about the other guy, but I'm going to, so I'm going to go for Okada to win this. Cool. Um, mm, I'll, I'll go for Naito. It's going to be like a... I think everyone's expecting Okada to win it, but I think it's going to be like a, a twist. It's like, oh my God, to do Naito. He's won it. He's done it. He's beaten the odds and all that. Okay. It's going to be cool. All right. Okay. So, they were our... Clearly, highly educated <laughs> New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestling Castle Eight predictions. <laughs> yes, wrestling, wrestling Place Eight, <laughs> <laughs> like the WrestleFest. WrestleFest, <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, I'm sure it's going to be a really great show. We oh, yeah. we just mess around. We just know nothing about New Japan because we don't watch it. At least we're honest, like some marks on the internet who <laughs> claim they watch New Japan, retweet all of their shit, but never watch it. So <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how wrestling on the internet works. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. Right. We've got to fuck off to do a stream, so uh, <laughs> we're going to leave you guys here because we've also run out of things to talk about. Uh, yeah, kind of. But uh, next week, you can expect the Daydreamer Gaming Dreamcast. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what we're going to talk about. We'll figure it out. Please enjoy it, Sega. Thanks. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be back for the Royal Rumble. Yes. In fact, what we need to do, is because we didn't do it in December because life stuff, mm-hmm. we will actually watch an old Royal Rumble. Uh, yeah, we should do that. So, so guys, pick a Royal Rumble for us to watch. Mm. We will watch it. And then the week before the Raw Rumble, when we give our Raw Rumble predictions, we'll talk about the Raw Rumble that we've watched. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that will be awesome. We'll do that. That sounds good. Cool. But for now, this is the Graps Cast with Sonny and Finn. We are a wrestling podcast that posts twice monthly across podcast services everywhere. 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 Including Google Play. Now including Google Play. Yeah. Don't tell. Yeah, they, they, we, we, if anyone asks, we're American. Yes, that. Not don't tell America because they yeah. can listen to it now. Yeah, yeah. To tell America, just don't tell Google that we're we're not from there. Yeah. Google, you never heard this. Yeah, just show them Griff. Griff, Griff knows. Yeah, just Griff, tell Griff, him. Tell him Griff. Griff, Griff, is... Griff, our American spokesperson. Griff, Griff is our <laughs> token American. <laughs> yeah, exactly. he's our American producer. That's what. So there you go. This there you go. Podcast is produced in America. Yeah, perfect. Um, yep go listen to that and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with more Grapcast but uh, yeah Yeah, yeah. next week Dreamcast couple of weeks Grapcast awesome but for now I'm Sunny I'm Finn and we'll see you next time guys goodbye thank you very much goodbye divas